Hello and welcome to whatever channel you're watching this on. It's going to be posted to a couple of them. This is my current MG. It's 74 MG Midget, 1275cc. I think it's a Mark III Midget, if I'm not mistaken. It's either a Mark III or a Mark IV. Believe me, I don't really know much about the Midgets, but I know they're interesting cars, and MGs are interesting cars in general. With that in mind, that right there is my new MG. What this is, I've actually been after this car for four years. I saw this thing in 2018, and my first car between this or the Morris, I chose the Morris because it was actually in a lot better shape than this. But looking at this now, they're structurally they're about in the same shape. So this is my 1967 MGB. So I... I pay, I actually paid more than I wanted to for it, but the guy is going to close up in less than a year. So if I didn't buy this now, somebody else would have bought it. I paid $500 for it, but that includes delivery to my house, which was probably like 300 bucks. So I'm comfortable paying $200 for it, which is probably what, about what I paid. Um, so I have weird plans for this car, but I'll just take you on a tour before I tell you. So... It's missing plenty of parts. When I say plenty of parts, it is missing plenty of parts. It's missing the door handles. It's missing the lock hole. It's missing the bolts that hold the door on, actually. So this is, that's a part of my plan. No, I'll just leave that there. It's part of my plan, actually. Those actually work for, for my plan. Um, under the hood, we have a BMC... 1800 cc b series I'll just pop it or should i say we have what's left of a bmc 1800 cc b series um somebody took the head the motor is completely seized up this thing had a blown head gasket like i don't know the last registration actually the guy said he's had this from over tw for 25 years um so which i could believe because of how long I've seen this, but the title's dated 2010, so maybe he sold it a couple times and it came back to him like the Morris Minor did. But this is the only paperwork that came. It came in the glove box, other than the title, which I have in a drawer, but this is the paperwork that came in the car. State of New Jersey insurance identification card. Look at that. Look at when it expires. 3-12-1976. So, yeah, that's actually quite interesting to have. Uh, the seats are completely destroyed. Actually, I shouldn't say that. They are probably salvageable. Um, the floors, well, they're actually somewhat solid, but the sides are kind of rotted out up there. And, of course, this being a unibody construction car, it is um, really bad if it's rotted. Of course, being a British Leyland car... Of course it's going to be rotted, because that thing was on only on the road for three years and it had rust in the trunk. But I love this car so much. I have interesting plans for it, and those interesting plans lay right here. You see all this, um, I guess you would call this sheet aluminum, or sheet, sheet stainless steel, sheet metal. What we're going to do, we're going to take this sheet metal, okay? We're going to put a beam made out of like pipes and stuff maybe a pipe frame beam that goes up and then like this so as we can see we're going to have a very we're going to have basically a cab over the driver's area then we're going to remove this trunklet we're going to take maybe a plasma cutter or an angle grinder and we're going to take the line and cut it down there same on that side and then in the trunk Oh, I forgot this wasn't like the midget that has a latch that when you lift it up. We're going to take that panel right there. We're going to cut that out. And after we do that, we're going to build a custom pickup bed for this MGB. Those are my plans for it. And then for the motor, because of course I want to be able to drive this thing around, we have this under this cover right here. 
And I think you guys might like this, or you'll think it's the dumbest idea ever. This motor isn't set in stone yet, but it might go in. This is a John Deere flathead two-cylinder. Yes, you heard me right. John Deere flathead two-cylinder. It's quite interesting, and we're going to put this in. At least that's our plan. Uh, we don't know if this is going to happen or not. I don't know if this is going to happen or not. But, uh, this is the plan for what's going to go in the car. A John Deere flathead two-cylinder powered MGB custom-built pickup truck. That is the plan for this little MGB that I've been after for four years. So, of course I'm going to put the original grill back in, which I actually have. Um, so that's going to go back in. I thought about using a Chrysler Imperial grill that I have until it, until I realized that it was way too big to fit and again, way too heavy. But I was going to have the Imperial grill because it has little inserts that come like that. They're circles. So I can put the headlights in there and then I can use these as giant turn signals. And then we just take those out. Oh yes! So again, speaking of taking things out, the doors, which are surprisingly solid actually, as we can see, the door handles, as I mentioned, are gone. I'm going to completely shave those so they're flat. Okay? We're going to have interior latches here that will control the doors. Okay? Also, the doors and the hood, I'm going to try to get painted in like a psychedelic mix of colors. Like if you Google Volkswagen hippie van and you see like tie-dye and stuff. That's what I want to get the hood and the doors to look like. Yes, I'm crazy. Um, the wheels are actually very old. I can tell this thing's been off the road since 76. If we look at the tire size, 165 SR14. Just like these 145 SR13s that are on the midget here, uh, you can't really get them. So, those are my plans for the little tiny cherry of an MGB that I have may have paid too much money for. But I got a job, so I can afford to lose $500. But I've been after this car for so long, I don't really care. I love this thing. But there's definitely stuff planned for this car in the future. I'm not just going to break it up, take all the good parts off, and then scrap it. This is this thing, we have plans for it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to whatever channel you're watching this on.